everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. I am working on just putting down white hearts um, on these little rocks that I have here. Um, if you don't need tips on drawing or painting hearts, you know, these little tips might help somebody else. So um, whenever I paint a heart on the rock, I always make sure that I come up and away from the bottom um, of my rock, the bottom point. If you paint towards the point, it's hard to keep that nice V shape at the bottom. So I always basically, I'll, I always paint a V on here. And then err on the side of smaller on the arches because paint tends to get a little wider than you might think. So keep a nice small little arch from each side in. You can always make it bigger. You can't take it back off, right? So, and then fill in and then look at your shape. From there, you can make it bigger. You can kind of come along your arch and really arch it out closer to the edge. Work on the shape of your rock. Remember, if you get to the bottom though, don't pull all the way. You can come down the side. But when you get down here, make sure you're always pulling up and away. Help make sure you keep that nice point at the bottom. And then work your other side. Make sure you guys can focus here. So up and away. And I have something really fun I'm going to share with you guys today that I'm going to use to paint these rocks. I've seen them pop up in groups a few times. They are disposable eyeliner brushes and they're super impulse buy, I guess you could say. But they come in these giant packs. And when I say giant, I mean giant. Like you get a hundred of them. When I bought them, they were like 10 bucks. They were even sometimes on sale for even cheaper. And so it's like, you buy it once, you're definitely not gonna have to buy it again. So they're these tiny little eyeliner. So I'll show them to you where I let these hearts dry. We'll just do a few of them here. But they're these just tiny little. Just gotta make sure it's in focus for you. And they're hard. They're very like pointy. I don't know that I'd want to use these for eyeliner. I think they would hurt, but for rock painting, we're gonna have some fun and do some really fun, fine lines. We're gonna do almost a rainbow themed heart rock here. Super simple and cute. So I'm gonna get my paints out, just a little dollop. Actually, I'll probably work out of the lid. So I'll get all my paints open. We're gonna let these hearts dry and then we'll get to painting. All right, so we're gonna work our way through the rainbow here. I've got a little brush for each one. I'll come with these little caps on it. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have orange on this one already. My orange was really super thick, so I had to put a little bit of water in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my little eyeliner brush, I guess you could say, and get it some paint on it. I don't want a blob at the tip. I want it to be, you know, like a brush. They're very stiff bristles. And I'm just gonna basically add a couple lines on my heart that kind of go along with the shape of the heart. So these are very loose. Like pretend like there's rings of hearts going all the way to the center. But we're just gonna be very loose and adding a few lines on each of them of each color. They don't have to be the entire shape of the heart. They're very sketched on. Like so. So we'll do all three. And then we're basically gonna continue doing this with every single color of our rainbow here. We've got all the colors out. This nice little design. So I will play some tunes over <laughs> while I'm doing these because it will take a little while. Um, and you can put these brushes right into water. You can actually rinse them. So that's what I'm gonna be doing back here. So I'm just gonna go between my colors here.
right, that's my last color and done. I'm gonna clean this all up and find the black. That way this ed these edges have a chance to dry for a second. Same thing when you're lining as what we were talking about with uh, doing your hearts. You're gonna wanna start at the bottom and work up and start here and work out. You always wanna have the most control when you're placing down. And you can kind of lift and pull away. I'm much more comfortable lining with paint pens, I'm not gonna lie, but I figure not everybody has those. This is actually something I think with a little more practice, um, I'd be a lot better at it. I mean, I'm, I literally just started using these. So obviously, I basically have to hold my breath when I'm lining. But I would say they work pretty well for that. And actually, it's pretty nice. So let's see here. And add some little dots maybe around it too. This works kind of well for doing just these little tiny dots. So, I don't know. I think that you're definitely going to get my money's worth out of these. That's that. I will line the rest of these and share an image here at the end for you. I'll definitely link to these brushes down below. You wanna check them out. And we'll be back soon with something new or you can carry on here to something else. Bye-bye.